Yo, check this out guys. I just got a blimp with working lights for our WWE figure arena. We're about to unbox this. Here's a trivia question for you guys. Do you guys remember the last time WWE used a blimp during a live show? That's right, WrestleMania 13 would be the last time WWE used an airship as a way to advertise inside the arena. Now, since we're filming our WrestleMania, I thought it'd be cool to recreate that moment. So I went online, searched up some scale blimps, and surprisingly, there was quite a few that came up. But as I was scrolling down, I found one with working lights and sounds, and plus, this one says you can make your own custom sign on it. So I thought, what better way to advertise our main event than on a blimp inside our arena? How cool would that be? All right, so we finally got our hands on the official Goodyear blimp by Buddy L. Man, this thing looks absolutely sick. I can't wait to have this in our arena hovering over the crowd. It's just gonna look badass. But before we get to the blimp itself, I wanna take a closer look at the box. I mean, there's just so much going on. Let me take a closer look here at the bottom. Oh, look at that. 1993 was when they released this blimp. So I think that makes it about 30 years old, man. And it's in great condition. I almost don't even want to take it out of the box, but we're going to do it for the channel. Now, this blimp is so interactive. It's also got batteries included. And I just hope considering the age, the batteries aren't rusting and this actually still does work because you can make your own custom moving sign with this. It's got some real life engine sounds, captain's voice and cheering fans. Now on the side of the box, Oh, look at that. We got some more nostalgia. We got a Toys R Us price tag at $19.99. That's probably correct 30 years ago. But now we saw those eBay price listings going up for like 80 to 90 bucks for this blimp. Now on the back of the box, it just shows the other vehicles included in the line for that year. But man, this is so cool. I can't wait to have this in the arena. Now, when I purchased this, I was like, okay, it's going to be cool that we have a blimp in the arena, but we need a landing station for this. And I didn't want to just get no helipad and just put it off to the side. We got to go all the way. So I did a little bit of research and I ran into this pretty cool vehicle. Let's take a look. It's by Win Ross. We'll take a closer look later in the video. But man, look at this. It's an airships operation semi truck. Man, it's going to be so cool. It's going to go well together. Now, this isn't a set. I bought this separately because I just wanted a landing dock for this. All right, so let's crack open this bad boy right here. All right, so we got some instructions in the box on how to write your sign. It's pretty cool. Comes with some extra pieces of paper. Ooh look at that. Oh man. Good ear blimp ready for takeoff. Look at this. Ah, oh, all the propellers. All right, so now that we got the blimp out of the box, I'm gonna start with this piece right here. And guys, check this out. The propellers actually spin. How cool is that? Best part is, all you have to do is pop this thing back on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if Ticketmaster sold tickets to watch the main event from up here, I would have definitely purchased that because how cool would that be watching the main event as the blimp travels over the arena? That would have been sick. Now, guys, moving on to the blimp itself. Man, I am digging these vibrant blue and yellow colors. It's in great condition other than this little scuff right here. But that's from the packaging that was, I think was being held too tight. But man, other than that, this thing is in great condition. We got some numbers right here. The Buddy L. Man, and of course, the main thing on this blimp is the moving screen. But of course, the magic happens on the back. Let's check the back out real quick. First off, we got a speaker for those working sounds. Now, moment of truth. Let's open up this latch right here. Let's see what's behind. Ooh, look at that. Man, oh, you can even see a motor right there. So it definitely does rotate. It's going to be cool to add our own custom sign. We're definitely going to promote the main event. I think we got some instructions right here on how to do it, how to make your own sign, and plus how to load the sign onto the blimp. Now the question is, will this work? Will this turn on? After it being 30 years, will this thing still light up? We're about to find out, but I think we gotta open up the latch. I need a screwdriver, but man, how realistic is this? It even opens up like a real plane, like the front of the nose, the loading part. I can't wait, I'm gonna go get a screwdriver. We're gonna see what's inside this. Oh, uh, what is that? Let's see. I think my worst nightmare might have just came true, guys. Let's see. No. No. Okay, we're going to have to take these out because this thing is rusting, man. Hopefully, it still works. So it looks like the plastic might be working still. 
Well, I think we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit first before I insert the new batteries because there was a little rusting from the previous batteries. All right, so I did a little cleaning in there. So hopefully the rust isn't too bad, but now let's add our own batteries in there. See if this thing actually does work. Let me get my box cutter. Open these bad boys up. I think it takes only three, which is kind of weird. Usually things take four or two. Three is such an odd number. All right, we'll just attach these back. Let's see. Moment of truth time. Let's test the buttons out, see if they work. Huh? What happened? I did it again. <laughs> I put the batteries wrong. It's always a never ending battle with me and batteries, man, I swear. Look at the instructions real quick. Look, it did it exactly how it said. That's weird. Oh, what? It worked. It worked. Let me pull this up right now. <laughs> what? It's working. Look at this. Man, so it does turn on. Oh, it's starting to rotate. It's, it's trying to rotate. How cool is that? That's badass. I, no, I think the problem might be that it's stuck because it hasn't been turning on a while. But look at that. Okay, let's try See if it works now after we assisted it. Oh, look at that. It's coming along. It's coming along. You can start to see the next letters. <laughs> this is gonna look sick when we add our own main event card to this, man. Oh, so this one you have to hold down. This button, it actually goes by itself. Oh, we got some cheering crowd. Oh man, this is gonna look sick. I can't wait to have this in our arena, man. I'm gonna close the back of this. But man, how cool is that? It's sick. I got the biggest cheeser in my face because I know this is gonna look perfectly in our arena. But man, we gotta park this blimp off to the side because we're not done yet. All right, so now that we have a blimp, we're gonna need an airship operation semi truck, guys. Now, this isn't a pair. I went on eBay and I did my own little research. But man, check this out. This is made by Win Ross. And we gotta have something that's gonna keep our blimp in maintenance. And look, check this out. It's a die cast semi truck for the Goodyear blimp. Now, this might be on the smaller size scale, but I mean, overall, this is perfect for the blimp itself. In size comparison for these two, it's actually to scale because a semi truck would be this small compared to a huge blimp airship. Now, the back of the air blimp uh, semi operation truck does open on the back of its doors. Pretty cool. Now, you can have it either like this or Here's the semi truck actually, and it has the airships operation from Ohio actually. Look at that, look at the detail of that, pretty cool. Now I'm not sure when this actually was released. It doesn't have a year on it, but man, this thing looks absolutely epic. It just has a, like the Winross serial number and stuff like that. It doesn't have a year on it, but man, if you guys know what year this thing came out, please comment down below. I would love to know, but man, this thing is gonna be so cool to get in. Let's add this thing on top. Look at this, and it rolls just smoothly, perfect. Wow. Now, since we don't have a helipad, I was thinking of having the airship blimp just land. Like, let's see, let's see. Goodyear blimp requesting from landing. Look at that. And then we can just have the semi roll off with the blimp. How cool is that, guys? Now, let me know what you guys think about the semi truck and the blimp. Would you guys pick one up? I can't wait to have this in our arena. And guys, I'll see you guys next time for our main event. Keep an eye out for this because I think that's what we're going to use it on the next video promoting the main event in the arena at WrestleMania. What better way to debut something so cool and so big like this than on the main event at the grandest stage of them all, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.